Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Cobra 55 with Let's Play Spire the Dragon Part 4. Now I've been having some computer problems and so I have to do post commentary in this one, but it should be fixed and I will be back to doing live commentary. Um when I was doing the post commentary right after I made this video, I found out that I'm way worse at uh post than live. So I apologize in advance if you, you don't really like this, but, you know, I, I gotta do what I gotta do here. Um, so, it, last level, it stopped off when I was doing the speedway of the first world, and since then I beat the speedway, and in this level I will be facing the world boss Toasty, and I will start on the Peacekeeper's world. Um. This level is really short, it's just this outside area, a little bit of an area inside, um, a small secret area, and then the level boss himself. Your main threat here are those giant dogs, which keep squishing me. You gotta hit them twice to kill them, and you can't charge into them. Um, sorry, I thought I heard something. So, anyway, I die a few times in here, but it's not horrible to watch. Um... Yeah. I forgot where I was going with this. So anyway, um... Yeah, you just pretty much run around, shooting the dogs with the fire. And then you have to beat Nasty's General Toasty who is a giant thingy with a jack-o'-lantern on his head and he uses a scythe so he kinda looks like the Grim Reaper kind of um... anyway the next world, the Peacekeepers they it's a desert level with a bunch of guys with spears and cannons I don't get a hundred percent in there Um in this episode. It's kinda late at night when I made this. And I was just pretty tired and wanted to get some sleep, so I missed a lot of stuff. But I will get that in the next video for you to see. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring them on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Alright, so here's where I start on Toasty. He can't damage you unless you get too close. Um, which I actually do get too close. I don't know how I manage that, but I do. And as you can see, he is a sheep. And I always get a Braveheart flashback whenever I see that. I don't know why. I mean, it's like freedom for the sheep. So, you hit him there, and then he'll run and set two dogs on you. And guess how many dogs he sets on you next time? That's right. Five! No, I just flat out lied on that one. It's actually three. The only question I have about this level is where does a sheep get some stilts and where can he learn to use them? Because my sheep has always wanted to learn how to use stilts. I tell him I don't think that's possible, but he just doesn't believe me. He wants to learn how to do it. Alright, so... Yeah, this is pretty much... Right where I beat this boss. Get both of them, get that last guy, who still squishes me. And then Toasty can't do crap to you. I was actually expecting butterflies. Well, you know I wasn't, but if this was my first time, I probably would be expecting butterflies. Alright, so, 
from here I have a hundred percent on every level in this world. So I just go right on to peacekeepers. Because there's not really much point in sticking around here. The way that you get into new worlds is the balloonist. He flies you in between the worlds and uh, there's one in every world, obviously. You can go to any world you visited, and once you get enough stuff, you will be able to go on to the next one, after you beat the level boss. So here's where I come to Peacekeepers, the desert world. Alright, so there's your first dragon, right there. That was easy, wasn't it? I think it was. Titan. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. I'm sorry you had to hear that. The Titan comment, by the way, not not what he actually said. Sweet. There's your first cannon guy. A little bit later in the game, they will start using machine guns and grenades. I might have mentioned that earlier, but that might have just been when I was trying to do the narration the first time. Um, they're there actually playing catch with them, which I think is incredibly stupid. So, that was me trying to go tell him, hey, that's kind of dangerous, which ended up killing him. Um, so, gotta go kill that guy. Yeah, I do a lot of weird stuff. Again, it's it was about 3 in the morning when I made this video, so I was pretty tired. But it was a fairly good take, so I kept it. They do like to run into those tents and just hide. And if you break them down, they will... Well, I got him before you can see what he does, but they will moon you. They have enemies that do that in the third one, too. It's kind of a common occurrence. Now, you can't actually charge into those tents. You have to burn them down. I don't know why. Um, you think pieces of fabric would be pretty susceptible to being slammed into by horns, but they're, they're not. Those white chests over there, like the one in the background, they have to be blasted open with a cannon. That is the only way to break them down. I realized I missed one gem back there at the very beginning of the level. I did not when I made this video. And again, I'm taking the long way around. I don't know why. I just realized I probably should have tried to shoot that dragon and see what happened. Oh well. Yeah, that target is kind of obvious. Um, you just blow it up with a cannon. more of those chests that you have to jump and grab the gem if you don't remember that from earlier and there's Dr. Shemp the boss of this level you just pretty much run around chase him and uh, slam your horns into him wow that was timed perfectly I left right as I finished that sentence Boom. I don't know how I didn't get that guy earlier. Alright. Um, there's some stuff over there and you can see another level. Dry Canyon, I believe. Yep, that's the name of it. I don't remember what is in that level at all. So, don't ask. Now this is the point where I decide to see if I can actually play catch with those cannons like those guys were doing earlier. 
and you will find the results of my experiment in just a few minutes. Um, if you're wondering who that was, that was my sister. Say hi to the people. Who should not be walking in right now. And if you were, were caught any of that message and were wondering who Bandit was, that is my dog. As you can see, no, you cannot play catch with those cannons. You, you completely miss. Um, just go around killing a few more of those guys. And here's where I glitch up the game. I don't even know why I tried that or how I figured that out. I just kind of started slamming my horns into there and that happened. Hi, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. I just realized that. Magnus. Uh, could possibly, probably not be a Chrono Trigger reference. Um, I don't know if they do have a Monty Python reference in the third one. Because after you see a bird in a cage, somebody tells you he's pining for the fjords. Um, I have a picture of that up on Facebook. Just, I don't know, I couldn't stop laughing when I saw that. Um, pretty much the next parts are me running around confused because I am really tired. I mean, it was Friday night, 3 in the morning, and all of a sudden I figured, hey, I should finish up my, uh, or I should make another Let's Play video. I don't know why I thought that, I just did. Well done, Spyro! Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure! And yes, I know I missed that chest back there. Again, I noticed that right after I made the video. I don't know if I had gotten there yet. I wasn't really paying attention. One last note before I stop this video for now. Um... For those of you who haven't played a Spyro game before, he is not a teenager, he's not a kid, he is an actual adult dragon. He's just a shrimp. Um, he can't walk on all four, er, he can't walk on two legs, and he's tinier than everyone else. But that is also always the reason why he has to save everyone. Um, they don't make fun of a him for it either, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I am going to stop the video now. So, um, until next time, keep it cool. I don't know why I just said that. That was me not keeping it cool. Anyway, I will be back later for Let's Play Spy the Dragon Part 5. <laughs>